Hello, I'm Stephen from Wheelhome. I'm going to give you a bit of information about understanding your solar charging system on your Wheelhome motor caravan. This is our demonstrator Vikings 3E and it has a 300 watt solar panel on the roof. And I'm going to show you something that it's actually quite dirty and dusty up there. It's done a show last week and hasn't been cleaned since. So it's obviously far from perfect, but you know, that's realistic of day-to-day -day use. So let's see how we get on. First thing you need to do is to get the Victron app onto your smartphone. So go to your Play Store in this case, or wherever you go for your apps, as they say. Search for and then type in, but I've already done it, Victron Connect app. That's what you, that's what the one you want. So we search for that. That's what will come up. And hit install. Takes a minute or so to download. Once it's done, you can see it's installing it. So we've now got the app on our desktop. So just touch on that to open it. There's our vehicle. So we need to touch on that. Now it's getting the data from the solar system. So that we're in, this is the information you'll see. So the solar panel is currently putting only 15 watts in, which is pretty minimal. The voltage is high here, but that's at the solar panel. Don't worry too much about that. That's not of great interest to us in normal use. We're more interested in these, which is the actual battery. Um, so 14 volts in the battery, which is very high, completely fully charged up. It's just put in a, a nominal one amp in at the moment. So we've now raised the roof, which means it's pretty much optimum angle for the solar to the sun. I've also switched on the inverter, um, running a fan heater to deliberately pull the batteries down. And you can see now the solar is putting considerably more energy, more power, more amps into our batteries. So it's putting 230 watts in and it's 17 18 amps obviously goes up and down a bit with the the light but that's that's quite impressive so five minutes ago we had a fully charged battery so the solar was hardly putting anything in now we have a load we've put the inverter on pulling the fan heater that you can probably hear there 1500 watts that is it's worth pointing out that the voltage here doesn't really give us a reliable indication of the state of charge. Um, this is because we're in the sun, so that's an artificially higher voltage because that's what's going in to charge it. Uh, if you want a better idea, you need to be in the shade uh, or perhaps wait for the evening when the sun's gone way, way down and the panel is hardly doing any work. The word absorption means it's a sort of top two thirds uh, of the charging process. So about two thirds full battery, up, up to full. So we've got the roof down at the moment and we're putting just close to 100 watts in. It's quite early morning but there's nice bright sun out. And there's the roof down. So we'll now put the roof up and see what difference it makes. The ideal angle for the solar panel 
is about 30 degrees in the UK or in the Northern Hemisphere. And there you see that really ramping up as the roof gets to that optimum angle. There you are, 170 watts from about 100. So there we are, hopefully that's uh, given a bit of uh, background understanding of how our solar system works and how to use the app. Um, some people never look at it, you don't have to, it's all automatic, but if you want the information it's clearly there and there's quite a lot of information there. Um, I haven't intended this to be technical in any way, uh, but hopefully it will give a bit of an understanding of how it all works.